I do have a plan. And that is what this video, I guess, is about. I can share you guys my plan. You know, today's vlog is not gonna be so much of me going around, kind of showing you the day-to-day -day stuff. I needed to get kind of some things out there to everybody. I needed to get some information out there to everybody because I don't know, I feel like a little bit of it is owed. I think I need to clear up some things as well as I need to kind of get some stuff out there that have been speculated. But at the same time, I'm just going to say I do actually read all the comments. Uh, I may not reply to every single one. There's a lot of mumbo jumbo in there. There's a lot of some hate, a lot of stuff that I don't really need to uh, take my time and energy to reply to or whatever it is. That doesn't matter. That's not what this video is about. What this video is about is kind of clearing up some things so i started doing these daily vlogs what was it a couple weeks ago not even uh maybe 10 12 days ago it hasn't been that long honestly i'm really loving it i, I do i love doing the daily vlogs i love kind of showing you guys what life has been like during like the current situations we're in i've been with the same group of people for extended amounts of time and i plan to be for a very long extended amount of time because of everything going on so i love doing this kind of stuff this is what i love to do this is what i strive to do during the daily vlogs i mentioned that i am gonna i'm putting my van up for sale and you know what's funny is a lot of people unsubscribe to me and that you know it really doesn't bother me it, it bothers me to the point that if you're only subscribed to me because i live in a van then that that is like i i get it and i get it i get i, I don't know how to put this like i don't want to come off sounding like harsh or i'm upset like if that that that's your own prerogative i'm not going to tell you what to do what to not to do go like and subscribe i'm just kidding but anyways all right let me gather my thoughts here <laughs> so much i am in my van i am cleaning it out it is an absolute frigging disaster it looks like a tornado went through here i have a bunch of stuff here all of my upper cabinets are empty uh it's kind of crazy yeah i did put my van up for sale it's on my website um, I have all this here. I'm literally, I'm just cleaning it all out. I'm putting my clothes into suitcases because I'm going to be staying. One of my friends here, pretty much their spare bedroom or couch for an extended amount of time. Am I leaving the van life? Am I leaving things like, uh, you know, I've actually, I've taken a few days uh, to let it all sink in after I officially did put my van up for sale. I'm not going to do like a for sale video until the van is 100% to where I want it to be. I'm still taking offers on the van. If you go to my, my website, jaretachi.com slash van dash for sale, dash sale, whatever, you guys, you'll see it, whatever. But in the meantime, I'm doing a lot of work that, that I've been wanting to do. I'm installing a 12 volt AC. Every single spec imaginable in my van, the actual van itself, all that stuff is on that site. So that's why it's all there. However, I will update the pictures and I will update a video when all that, probably about two weeks, cause that's how long it's gonna take me to do all this stuff. A lot of people have been like either unfollowing me and even my friends, like people that are near and dear to my heart that watch my channel, but also have my personal phone number. They've reached out to me and they're like, like, uh, some of them not all of them not all of them but some of them have reached out to me and they're like hey you know what are you gonna do now like what like i don't understand you've built your whole brand around the ghost and everything else and it's like i'm not leaving van life i don't know how else to explain that to everybody that i'm not leaving van life i just did a solar video i'm very immersed in this that's number one number two if you notice the name of my channel the name of my channel is my name yes i live in a van that i call ghost it is a big part of my life. It started my life. I This is a very hard and emotional thing for me to do. When I sold my first van, I had a plan set in place to build my second van. A lot of my friends actually don't think that I have a plan. I do have a plan. And that is what this video, I guess, is about. I can share you guys my plan. And if you want to give me backlash, that's fine but I'm not leaving van life. My idea right now, and this is the thing, my idea might change, could change in a month from now or two months from now or a year from now. But right now, my ideas, my plans, and my goals, my dreams, whatever you want to call them, I have been wanting to do a container home before I got into van life. I did not have the means, I didn't have the knowledge, I didn't have all the necessary things to do that. I've teased it, I've said it in videos the last couple months of how I've been wanting to do a container home. I'm putting together my own designs. I have a degree in architecture and engineering. I've designed the two vans that I've lived in. This one in particular, I think 
is a very thought out, well designed van that has not been seen. I don't think this layout has been seen in any other van. Like I'm going to do something extraordinary for a container ship home. However, with that being said, a lot of you are like, well, where's the van come into place? Okay, I've been wanting to settle down. And here, here's the thing, I, I think, and I'm gonna do a video about this, I think there are many different aspects of van life. There are the van lifers that live full time in a van, go out and adventure and spend 99% of their time on BLM land or, or a majority of their time on BLM land. And then there's full time van lifers like myself that predominantly city based and I live I lived full time in cities very much majority of the time. And for a few weeks or a month at a time, whatever it was, I would go on an adventure. I gotta move this box or I gotta move away from it. And keep on hitting. Anyways, back when I was in Portland the first time, which was say in August of 2019, I had all of these thoughts running through my head back then. So that was how long ago this goes back. And, I, and then the container home went back years. But when I came here, I had the intention of I'm going to make Portland my home base. That was always the intention. That was always my ideas. I just never shared that with everybody here on social media. That's all. With that also being said is I wanted to get more involved in something that I've been truly passionate about because I've been in it for 10 plus years, which is like entertainment. I wanted to get back into my roots of stand-up comedy, was performing stand-up comedy way before I got into van life. So I wanted to get back into that. With unfortunate events going on right now, I had to take a step back from that. Now, a lot of you have asked me to do like a Zoom chat or put on a Zoom type stand-up comedy show. Thing is, my routines right now are not to the point where I am ecstatic about putting them out online it is like playing an instrument or playing a sport it takes a lot of time to get repetition over and over again to get your set right when you play a musical instrument it's like the same thing to play it live in front of an audience you want to fine-tune it to the point same thing with stand-up comedy you go out there and you write a five-minute set perform it at an open mic or whatever and then for me, I either record it on a recorder or a video, and then I go back, I watch it, and then I fine tune it, and you keep doing that. You fine tune it, you fine tune it, until you get it into a set. All comedians do it that way, guys. I hate to break it to you. I, I shouldn't say all, most. So that's that aspect of my life. And then the van life is always gonna be there. And why is that? Because I am planning on building another van, Ghost 3 van, once the container home is up and running. I've already been looking for land in the Portland area. I'm probably going to buy something relatively soon or after I sell this van. On that piece of land, I will probably put a guest house, which I will live in during the construction of the main container home, which will be my home. Also, I am planning on having a shop there for myself. At that shop will be the construction of Ghost 3. And I will probably continue to like evolve my vans and designs because I will have that as my own shop and that is that has truly truly been a 15 year goal for me ever since I really graduated college yeah 15 years holy Christmas like a workspace have like a work live loft situation don't really want to lease space I want to own space and the problem is owning a work live loft I'm looking into the millions of dollars I don't have that kind of money. So buy a piece of land and have a work sh live space that I can design to my, what I need is a perfect scenario for me. So now you guys kind of have a better understanding of where I'm coming from. I appreciate everybody's feedback. I appreciate everybody, you know, saying certain things. I'm getting into epoxy river table building soon as well, doing a lot of things. And I love, love, love what I do. I love doing these daily vlogs. I love bringing you informational videos. I love showing DIY type videos. I love doing uh, van tours. Unfortunately, obviously those have kind of not halted, but they've slowed down because of everything going on. I love doing just all of that stuff and all of those videos are going to continue. Now I'm gonna do a container home build series when that is up and running. The ones that have been my loyal followers for such a very long time, thank you very much. But you also know that I will do extreme details of like not only of like the building of the container, but all of the permits leading up to it, buying the land part of it, like all of that stuff, as well as making my own shop, as well as bringing in another van and building that out. Now I'm gonna jump back to the different types of van lifers. There's a full timers, 
there's the weekend warriors and then i think there's a sweet spot in between which is kind of where i'm going to be going towards mark mentioned this on one of his on one of the videos i did with him the people that like to go out for a month three months six months at a time next van is going to be like an extended stay type van do plan on doing a comedy tour and i think it would be better for me to do it in a van than flying around the country going you know comedy place to comedy place i'd rather i'd save myself buku bucks also on motel or hotel stays right i'd rather have the comforts of my home while i travel in that van why can't i do it in my current van to be honest with you guys i need i need i need funds i don't have the funds to do everything i just said that i want to do this van i've poured my heart and soul into this van i have truly designed something different i have honestly used top of the line products because i actually didn't think i was going to sell for quite a while i ended up selling a lot earlier than i wanted to or at least i put it up for sale a lot longer than i a, a lot faster than i wanted to it's going to be one of the hardest days when i say goodbye to this van it really will be you guys will see it i'm going to vlog about it i'm sure when it does happen i needed to get those things out a lot of people can understand it and there's going to be some comments on here that are going to say hey you don't have to justify this to any of us you know you do you i get it but i just feel like the, there was a lot of explanation that needed to happen let's go back to the fun daily vlogs that i've been doing you know because those are those are a lot of fun for me let's see if we can get dan on he stole my camera uh in yesterday's vlog let's get dan back on and, and let's see if he can tell us some of those uh the mexico cop stories <laughs> i think those will be fun right guys i gotta go finish cleaning i gotta clean this whole van out what i'm using is a storage area right now which is my office and i gotta pack up some suitcases for clothing because i'm pretty much moving out of the van all right guys i will see you guys tomorrow wednesdays i go live so you guys will see me go live maybe Maybe I'll go live from inside the van and you guys will see how I go, how it's, how it is empty. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. So we'll, I plan on going live tomorrow, Wednesday at, I don't know, uh, sometime between noon and three uh, Pacific Standard Time. I don't know exactly when because it's, you never know what's going to happen in my days. So. Did not want to be a Debbie Downer in this video. I really hope I wasn't. <laughs> Time later.